being highly sensitive is a gift for writers, but it can also make it really hard to handle critiques and negative feedback. So today I want to talk about how to recover if you've ever felt diminished by someone's reaction to your work. I'm Nicole and I help writers craft brilliant stories and share them with the world. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to gather the courage and take some steps to come back if you've ever felt shut down by a critique. So many wonderful writers have had this experience where they've taken the courageous step to sign up for a writing course or join a writing group and then they share their work and they feel shut down by the feedback that they've received and it's really hard to come back from that. I think it's so important to share our work, to enter contests and submit our work to publications or join other writing groups and other writing programs so that you can keep developing your craft. But for some writers, this is really, really difficult if they've had a bad experience where someone has said something unfair or mean or just unhelpful about their work. So today is all about tips for taking that next step to feel encouraged and brave again about sharing your work with the world. Here's my first tip. If you are writing memoir, personal essays, or creative nonfiction, be sure that if you're sharing your work, you're sharing it with people who are working in the same genre as you because it requires greater sensitivity. We are writing really vulnerable work when we are telling personal stories. And so I always think it's a good idea to find other writers working in the same genre who can appreciate the vulnerability in what you're doing. Number two, if you do decide to share your work with another writer, be really strict about the parameters of your discussion. It should always be focused on craft, not vague opinions. So things like, this didn't really work for me, but I don't know why, should be off the table. It's just unhelpful. And those kinds of comments breed self-doubt for writers. Number three is to actually avoid workshopping and critique groups. I know that this is the traditional model for writers in university and college level programs, even in high schools, workshopping is common, but I think it can be really unhelpful early in the drafting process or for new writers to be in that kind of public scenario where they're not allowed to talk while people discuss their work. I think it's better just to avoid those situations. I never made the biggest gains in my writing when I was part of a workshopping group or a critique circle. I made the biggest gains in my writing when I worked one-on-one -on -one with a trusted mentor who could give me really specific feedback that was helpful to me. Number four is to do just that. Build the trust up again by finding one person who has a great reputation as a mentor and a writer who likes to lift up other writers. Be clear about having been burned in the past and what you're looking for. A great mentor is someone who will look at your work with respect, who will be curious about what you're trying to do and help you achieve your goal. A good mentor is going to tell you what's working, what you're doing right so that you can do more of it, not tear it down, not tell you what's wrong with it. No red X's or slashes on your paper actual discussions about craft, craft-based feedback. That is going to help you. And if you do that work one-on-one -on -one with someone, you're going to gain confidence in your work. You're going to see what you're doing well, and it's going to help you just take maybe that next step when you have that confidence and validation from working with a mentor to maybe sign up for another course or maybe start sharing your work with some other writers who are interested in the same kinds of writing that you're doing. Remember, a good mentor is someone who genuinely cares about you and your writing and wants to see you keep writing. So they're going to hold a safe space for you as you do this intimate work together of sharing the stories that matter to you, the things that happened to you in your life that shaped and changed you. So if you're looking for the kind of mentor who can help work one-on-one -on -one with you to develop your craft and the stories that you want to tell as you work on the development of an essay collection or a long form memoir, I really encourage you to apply for the Spark Your Story Intensive. This is my 12 week program where I accept a small cohort of writers 
for um, who share the interest in memoir, creative nonfiction, or the personal essay. And you'll find the link to apply in the description below. Once you've completed your application, I would love to invite you to watch my next video, which is all about when to ignore feedback on your writing. I hope you find it helpful.